himself in 2015, and uh, I never uh, envisaged that it would reach where well, we reach today in size and in number of horses and uh, uh, in that passion to be uh, uh, to be taken that seriously. Uh, it was supposed to be a few number of horses and a small facility just for fun and hobby. And uh, then with time, uh, the hobby became a passion and uh, uh, things became more serious with the increase of number of horses, increase number of people. Uh, and of course, with all that comes a, uh, a needs and requirements as you grow in number, definitely. As you know, uh, the weather is about six months, five to six months of the year is very harsh, uh, uh, heat-wise, uh, in summer. And we also have about a month and a half in winter that is really also extreme cold. So uh, we decided here with the management that we need to do indoor facility in order to have our horses uh, uh, doing the exercise all year, the necessary exercise all year. And this is a big, big, uh, uh, important uh, health-wise, uh, physical, uh, for, for the sake of the horses, of course, mm -hmm. yes, and their well-being. Yes. Uh, well, this is an Arabian tent at the end of the day, and uh, I felt like we should have a nice uh, Arabian theme. Uh, that also complements uh, the whole uh, uh, Arabian horses, Arabian dogs, Arabian uh, the theme, as we said, yeah. as a whole, yeah. as a whole. And because we gather a lot here, whether with friends or horse breeders or family, and you need the space. When we found out about Jackal and uh, went to visit Jackal. He was very close to uh, the black Arabian stallion that I had in my mind. We have a lot of black stallions since the beginning. Uh, they are mainly uh, uh, Egyptian. And Jakal, uh, when I saw him and knew about him, he was something that we were missing here. Uh, as a stallion, stud, um, being from the uh, open blood, mm -hmm. as well as Jakal has not been used a lot, and from his progeny that we saw, that not too many in number, uh, I liked the, the, the quality of the progeny he had, and uh, I believe he will be an added value, that he is not used a lot. You can probably count his progeny mm -hmm. on your fingers. So therefore, uh, we had to buy him. Uh, otherwise, if he was used like the others, you can just buy his semen like any other mm -hmm. stallion. And this also will uh, give us a special mix that is not available really uh, out there. And this gives, you, gives us kind of a niche in, in that mix of Jackal, whether with the pure Arabians, and I'm also, as you know, we have the three lines. We have the pure, we have the straight Egyptian, and we have also the straight Egyptian, the Egyptian registry. And we need to bring up that pure up to the standard and the quality and the quantity to, to be in line with the others. So this is really why we brought Jaka. And as well, our fourth program, is to outcross. So Jakar being a pure, I would mix him with Egyptian males. Mm -hmm. And some of my Egyptian uh, stallions, I would mix with uh, the pure Arabians that we have. And that's our fourth line, really. Uh, and this is, uh, it's not easy, but uh, we're reaching, we're reaching the, the, the targets that we were expecting and hoping for. Over and above that, don't forget that we are also specialists in the black. In the black. And not only, but 
mainly the black because this is what I really like and this is what I was striving to reach and I can proudly say today uh, whether Stalins or black Stalins or black mares or project. Mm -hmm. uh, I started reaching the targets uh, because now I have all the list. And from here it will just grow. Mm -hmm. uh, really, I just, uh, whenever I have any extra time, I want to come here, spend it, look at the horses, talk about them, read them, follow on them. Uh, it will, it's a totally different uh, thing than it was before. Uh, and it's a nice passion. And uh, you see the results of uh, uh, the, the hard work that goes uh, uh, and the long time it takes uh, uh, just reminds you a little of your children. Now my children are uh, getting a little older and uh, when we breathe, and it's just like you have a kid. Are they okay? Is he fine? Is she okay? How's the mother? How's the baby? How's yeah. that? This is, it's, they became like a family. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, you know, the follow-up doesn't stop. Uh, you want to take care of them. You want them. You want the best for them. And just the same feeling. It's very close to the family feeling and children feeling. Yeah. Tell you the truth. Yeah. Yes. Especially when you breed them. Especially when you breed them. When they are your project. Yeah. So that's more when you feel like they are your kids, your babies. Yeah. At the end of the day. Yeah. yeah that's the feeling.